Okay guys, so this fireplace, we put a fuse in it last year. Um, but what it's doing now, is when we turn it on, turn the fire on, Yeah, that's pretty annoying. I know what it is, it's easy to fix, but I should have did this the other, oh, she moved some things for me. Thank you, Mike, she moved some stuff off of there for me. Uh, I should have did it the other day, I even mentioned it when I put the TV up. Anyway, I'm gonna pull this out, I'm gonna take this out, and I'm gonna set that table up right here, and, <laughs> We're gonna go ahead and fix that. Stick around, guys. Okay, guys, we're just gonna set this down like this. We're gonna take these screws out of the back. It's dusty, but it's been in, you know, the fireplace cabinet all year I'll wipe that off before I put it back together so let me bring you over here a little bit so you can see better of what's going on there you go let's take these screws out around here whoops Really short screws. Probably didn't need to. This is, this is probably overkill. So I got the uh, transfer case ordered for the truck. It'll be here by the fifth. It'll probably take me a couple days to do it. There's some on the sides. Dusty. These things are, there's nothing to them. I mean, for the price you pay for these, these things. Alright, now, let's take this off. And there's the fire. That's what makes your fire. These things spin. And there's lights down here that shine up. And this is your background. Looks like a looks like a fire in there. And then as these spin, that's what makes it look like there's flames. Uh, I think I had to replace one of these bulbs last year. I had it apart but this is what is making all that racket so we're gonna put it up here and turn it on there's a grommet in here they wear out they make a lot of racket it could be the motor making the noise but let me get it plugged in and we'll turn this thing on need to turn the heater on because it's working fine and we'll see if it's the motor or if it's right here usually they're right here but let's just take it apart and see, or let's plug it in and find out for sure all right so I brought you in a little closer let's turn it on now there is a bulb out I don't think I've got any more than bulbs Okay, so it's the motor itself. So we we're going to take the motor off. It's right here at the side, over there. And we're going to put a little oil in it. And 
see if we can get it fixed. Yeah, I don't have a bulb for that. I thought I put one in the last year. I might not have. One screw. Where's the other one? Right there, it looks like. Bring this up here. It's just a little cotter pin. Two screws holding the motor. Um, they got tape around. I mean, they use scotch tape from the factory, guys. All right, let me get a pair of pliers. We're going to take this um, cotter pin out of here, pull this motor off. I don't know if it'll come apart. But we'll see what we can do to get some oil down in there. Okay. See, if I did something like that, people would be like, ah, that's a heater, you know. You can't be using scotch tape on that. Well, I agree. Not that just because it's a heater, it's just because it's kind of tacky. I mean, you know. <laughs> Just straightening that cotter pin out. Pull that out. Pull that off. Now, let's take the motor out of here. Same size screws. They probably built this thing for around five, ten bucks maybe. And they sell them for how much? Yeah, I see a lot of gunk there. Now I don't want to take this part if I don't have to. They're not hard to Alright, well, shoot. <laughs> Let me get something to wipe that off with. Alright. There's just some tabs bent over there, so I think we can take this off okay. I may have to get a pair of pliers. I mean, <laughs> a screwdriver to get those. Yeah, I'm going to have to get a screwdriver probably. Unless these can get under there. All right, let me get a screwdriver. I was gonna take this out, but the other end of this is crimped in that. I don't wanna uncrimp all them wires just for this one thing, so. This one. I could probably get by with um, Dribbling some oil down in there. I think I'm going to try that first. And I forgot my oil too. First, let's uh, put some alcohol on there. You can use alcohol because it does evaporate pretty quick. This is only 50%. I need to get, I need to keep 99 or 100 anyway around. Uh, I'm going to try to spin that, but let's, uh, let's just pour a little bit on there. It should seep down in there, and like I said, it will evaporate. 
so while that's doing its thing I'm gonna go get some uh, some oil okay so it doesn't seem to want to be going down in there so what I'm gonna try to do first so I got some WD-40 it's a little thinner maybe that'll soak down in there then I can put a little bit heavier stuff on let's go ahead and let's turn that on I may have to mess around and try to get that back off of there. I really don't want to do that. So what I'm going to do is I'm just going to let this run for a little bit. Where are you at? Sounds like it's getting quieter. I'm going to let it run and see if it'll work that work its self down in there and then we'll put some heavier oil in it it's already getting quieter all right I'm gonna let it run and keep spraying some oil on there and on there okay guys so it's been running oh I don't know a minute and a half I got that other that middle light working over there now, WD-40 is alright, but I like to put a little bit thicker stuff so it stays on longer. Alright, now I'm going to let it run a little bit with this oil on it. And then we'll put the motor back in and see if it sounds better. Alright, so it's been running about 10 minutes. Now over here on the other side, where this rod goes through, this is what simulates... Oh, monkey's out here now. This is what simulates the fire, Mama. Yeah. Yeah, you showed me that before. So what I'm going to do is on the other side, I'm, I'm just going to use a little bit of this 90 weight. Same stuff I had to order from Monkey's SUV. Um, 20 bucks. Not for this one. This is stuff her dad had, but I'll be using the rest of it because it takes... 2.2 pints but anyway let me get around here let's get this back together i'll shut this off now there we go so you're not being blinded by the light okay Alright, so, and that's hot from the lights alone, wow, okay, let's go ahead and put this back together here. Make a couple screws here. these started I can't see I looked right in them damn lights Should have grabbed a screwdriver. All right, let me grab a screwdriver. Right. I'm tighten this up by hand.
I do believe it went like that. Tighten it by hand. Last little torquey torque here. Alright, now over here, that little rubber piece, I'm just going to put a dab of this 90 weight on. Right in there. Now we're going to put our simulator back in there and our cotter pin. Bend this back over. Just like that. Now, pretty confident that that's going to be quiet as a mouse now. I don't know why people say that because I've heard some mice make some horrendous sounds like really loud especially like if they're in their wall or something alright let's go ahead put this back on especially that mouse I heard the other night man that thing was noisy you should see the look monkey's giving me if looks could kill, my hat would be on fire. <laughs> Just kidding, Monk. Good thing. But I have heard some horrendous sounding mice. Mm -hmm. You know, getting into stuff. And... Alright guys, so you get the idea. I'm just going to go ahead and put these 976 screws back in. And then we'll flip it up and we'll check it out together. Okay, here we go. Oh, this bottom part, I don't know if I showed one the last time I had it apart. It comes apart so you can change them bulbs easier. All right, what do you think, Mama? Sounds good. I don't have it turned on yet. Oh. Is it going to sound? Never mind. Okay, guys, here we go. Oh, that was funny. See? There it is. I told you. It sounds Quite well. Quite There she be. All right. Yeah. I'm going to go put it back in the fireplace. That's the quietest I've ever heard it. Yeah, well, this was given to me like five years ago. Yeah, yeah. My boss gave it to me. He had a rental trailer and this was in it. And he said, you want to anything out of that trailer, go get it. I said, is that fireplace still in there? He said, yeah, if you want it, go get it. Anything in there that you want, get it. 
Well, I wanted that. Well, not just this, but the whole box, the whole fireplace was in there. All right, hang tight. So there it is, guys. Pretty quiet now. They almost couldn't hear me in my intro because that thing was so loud. There it is. Nice. All right, guys, thanks for watching. Appreciate it. Shea Bear, the Myth, the Man, the Legend. I'm gone for now. We'll see you guys in the next one. And uh, stay tuned for some videos on the Chevy. And uh, we'll get that going. Uh, I'll start on it. I can start on it any time. But like I said, the latest it should be here is the 5th. So that will give me a chance to get under there and start getting stuff unbolted. So, all right, guys. Again, thanks for watching. Appreciate it. We'll see you soon. Bye-bye and take care.